let's take a look at this uh, Foku Bukuro from uh, Freedom Japan Market. Again, if you don't know what uh, Foku Bukuro is, those are like uh, lucky banks or uh, surprise banks where uh, they won't tell you what the content of the bag is, but uh, usually it will have more than what you pay for. And uh, Freedom Japan uh, Market uh, does a subscription box for uh, Japanese candy. So they recently had a Fukubukuro box on sale. It was uh, priced around $25 and they said it would have uh, around $50 worth of products. I paid around uh, 3000 rupees uh, with shipping. And uh, this is what I got. I got this uh, caramel uh, corn. I won't be opening any of these packages in this video. I'm just showing uh, what I got. I'll make uh, individual videos for uh, each item. I got this uh, pea snack. I got this uh, strawberry snack. I got this uh, roasted uh, caramel corn. I got this uh, koala biscuit kind of snack. This DIY candy. I got this snack. I got a few of these snacks. I got uh, this snack. Again, I got few of these. I got uh, this candy bar. I got this uh, lip shaped uh, candy. Again, I got uh, quite a few of these. I got two of these candy. I also got a uh, few of these. I got uh, two of these uh, choco pies. Of these uh, lollipops. I got uh, two of these uh, bottled uh, candy. A paper like this. Not sure uh, what this is. I got uh, one of these. So at least uh, let me open uh, this one in this video. That's a that's a cow. So I'm uh, thinking maybe a milk chocolate kind of thing. That's how it looks. Let's taste it. That's really strange. It's actually a small um, piece of cheese, which was really surprising because I was expecting uh, it to be milk candy. Very tasty. Quite nice. These were all the snacks I got in this pack. I think it was uh, worth the price. I'll make uh, videos of all of them, so keep watching, quite nice, check it out.